All right, guys, let's get going here. It should be fun. All right, guys. Well, my name is Reed Howard. I'm a professional golfer. Thank you so much for watching the channel. If you like the video, please go ahead and subscribe, give it a thumbs up, whatever you like to do. Um, either way, we are gonna get going here. We have some speed training. We're gonna start off with some three irons. I just realized for this one, I actually uh, have the speed training with only three minutes. So we gotta get going here. Um, I actually haven't warmed up yet, so this is going to kind of be my warm up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move up to driver. So this isn't going to be the fastest. I thought I had eight minutes, so I was going to do some uh, some swings and stuff, but we'll do it in between for the three woods. So for these three irons, we're just kind of warming up, hitting some shots, and we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of get the body ready for some real speed. You want to make sure never to do too much speed training without actually prepping the body. God, the swing's been feeling good, guys. Last week was insane. I think I'm 26 under so far, so we're getting going in the right direction. It's a blast. Oh, all right, let's do it, guys. All right, so we're hitting these balls pretty good. Like I said, we're not doing speed yet. My uh, my glove just basically came off in my mid swing. So usually my three iron goes about 220, 230 yards. It's pretty standard for me, so nothing too crazy. Um, you know what I'm actually gonna do? Usually I don't. I do this with my speed training, but since I'm not swinging for speed right now, I'm gonna throw. Go ahead and throw my stead head on. Start to do some fuller swings. Make sure that there's some good separation between my cervical and thoracic spine. And that's kind of what, what I love this thing for. As soon as you get it, just, you hit it very solid. That's what I always notice. I don't know if anyone, one of you guys have tried this, uh, this uh, stead head. But it, as soon as you start using it, you just, it's real easy to hit the ball solid. It just cuts down, you know, the excessive motion. All right, guys, let's do this. Start to kind of get a little bit more aggressive as we get in. Start to get ready to hit some hard three woods and then eventually some super hard drivers. And uh, hopefully, hopefully the speed will be pretty good. I mean, last week, honestly, I've been quite disappointed with my speed lately. Um, my driver's kind of like 114, 115, um, but I've been playing so well that it's tough to be too disappointed when you're shooting like a lot of a lot of 65s but so 140 I mean PGA Tour average with a 3 iron is like 139 so even that which I'm not swinging that hard you know a 235 yard 3 iron is it's not that bad I'm happy with it I'll take it okay so guys here we go we are going to just do my regular kind of beginning warm up. We're going to actually do some speed training now. Uh, I'm going to be hitting eight three woods, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a couple of hard, hard swings. I got this kind of swing speed thing. I got my stead head on. And the idea is we want a lot of rotation without that head coming off the ball. And that's where the stead head really helps. So we're going to go for long swings. I want a lot of thoracic mo uh, mobility here. So you see that was a nice long swing, but the head stayed really still. And that's what I'm looking for. That's how you increase power without actually uh, getting less consistent. All right, we're gonna go with uh, three more swings like that. Very aggressive, good motion. Oh. Okay, we got two more. You know, I'm gonna do the two more with the slightly lighter lighter stick so we can really start to feel the acceleration happening there we go two more guys let's do it two more swings but we're going to swing hard Whew, feels good actually oh yeah all right one more guys one more here and then we're going to get in some speed training try to get that ball speed way above PGA Tour average. That's the goal. All right, guys, let's do this. 
This should be fun. Play again. All right, so because I have it on a quicker setting, I have eight shots in three minutes. PGA Tour average uh, with the three wood is 157. So we're gonna go for 165 ball speed. We're going for eight miles per hour faster than PGA Tour average. That's my goal. Let's see if we can get there. So 162. So we're well above PGA Tour average now. Not bad. We can do better though. hit that just a touch thin and sometimes when you hit it thin it doesn't even catch you know I've kind of almost got like a divot divot pattern going on here and uh, and sometimes it kind of sits down one sixty three I like it a little bit right but solid So guys, this is only uh, round two of the speed training. We're gonna get some uh, hard drivers in, see how far we can hit the driver today, and then we're gonna go and play this awesome golf course in, in, in uh, Japan. One sixty-three, guys. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, so that was a miss hit. Ah, come on. So guys, I'm not super enthusiastic about that swing. I would like to see my club head speed getting closer to 110, 111, and that's 107, so we can do much better than that. Ah, another little miss hit. Hey guys, so it's so hard. Normally I have it on eight minutes, and I forgot to set it, so right now I think I'm about to run out of time. And so we're gonna get go ahead with drivers. Yeah, 18 seconds. All right, I might be able to get one more off. Let's see what happens here. All right, come on. 165, guys. This is what I'm going for. 160 on the number. All right, that's gonna be the last three wood. All in all, not bad. 280, solid golf shot. Pretty happy with it. All right, so guys, it's just saying those last two because unfortunately, I haven't given myself enough time. So I'm actually gonna redo the settings here so I have enough time to actually hit all eight shots. See, it's automatically set on three minutes, so I gotta change that to eight minutes so I have a little bit more time. All right, here we go. I'm going to take this time to, to actually prime my body even a little bit more. I'm going to get these two sticks out. I really want, by the end of these streams, really, uh, you know, by episode 20, I would love to see my club head speed be closer to 118, 119. Right now it's more like 115. So let's go ahead and prime it just a little bit more. Oh. This is a slightly heavier one. It's two. That's three. Alright, so I got the stead head on. Whenever I'm doing my longer swings, I like to have my stead head on because I always want to make sure that I'm rotating around a stable center or else you're going to lose your control. So let's get this going here. 
This one I have eight minutes, so I should have plenty of time to finish. Two more, guys. Oh, that felt fast. All right, one more. Let's do it. Okay. Good speed. All right, here we go, guys. No problem here. We are going to go for a PGA Tour average is 167. So I want to be seeing stuff that's at least 170 or higher. That's really the goal. So let's get it going. That was a huge miss hit. All right, 163, wow, that's horrible. I think I was distracted. So guys, no more of this. I just can't take, like, I know the 310 down the fairway is not bad, but I just can't take it anymore. I need to hit the ball harder than this. Seven, slightly open club face. I mean, guys, yeah, so it's like 113 club head speed. Block it out a little bit. Honestly, thing number one that I really need to do is I really need to develop. Um, I need to go get an 8 degree driver or even a 7 degree driver because the ball is just going too high for me. Um, all right, here we go. Man. That's 112. It's a little bit of a miss hit. Watch, this is just another perfect shot down the center of the fairway. Just not fast. It's been great for, for my golf game. I've been hitting the ball. Like, I've been hitting 18 greens every time. Not every time, but like, I've been hitting the ball very well. But I just want more speed than that. Alright, come on. So here we go, guys. Very aggressive, very solid. One thirteen. Right, I'm going to try it off a slightly higher tee and see what happens. Because when I keep hitting it off these lower tees, you know, I'm hitting these like, I wonder if my body's not allowing myself to swing because it's like so low off the ground. No, I mean, it's the same. Exactly the same club head speed. Dude! All that I can swing is 113. It's like all that I got. It's like, oh, how hard are you going to hit the ball? 113 miles per hour is how hard I'm going to hit the ball. Not 114, not 112. I'm going to hit the ball 113 miles per hour. That's what I got. All right. I do have more in the tank. Hopefully I can show it right here. Super high. That was like the worst shot of the day. Come on. And you guys are going to see, like, all these balls are going straight. Like, I can control my golf ball. But just as far as speed is concerned, Jake, what's up? I know, I know, man. Yeah, like, right now, I don't know if you can see, this is like a very low T. And so I, I'm so glad I'm hitting it very, very solid. But these are just like solid dead straight shots. I mean, that's 113 mile per hour club head speed. 
So like, oh, I hit it 312 again. I'm gonna like go weigh myself because I feel like I'm swinging hard and I feel like I'm in shape. But like, I wonder if I'm slowly getting lighter, like slowly losing weight, you know? Because it's so weird that I'm just like not hitting it that hard. All right, let's do it one more time. Guess how far I hit it? 312 yards down the center of the fairway. All right, guys. So once again, it seems like it's the same story. I am going to increase my club head speed at some point. It's like 114. Um, but uh, today we're going to go play this golf course in Japan. I'm going to butcher the name. It's like Taihayo. I've played it a few times. It should be fun. It's kind of a hard course, so let's get going. All right, so here we are. Look at this, right by Mount Fuji. My grandfather actually climbed this. See how far it is from the tip? 7,300 yards from the tip, so it's not short by any means. So let's see how we can do here. 7,300 yards. That's long, man. That's long. Spinny high and stable. I know, Jake, and I know, man. It's true. Like, very stable. Like, I've been playing great. I've been, I've been making a lot of birdies, hitting a lot of greens, but it's just not... If, if I had 10, 10 or 15 more yards, I'd be happy about it. Um... So we're going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get that speed. I just don't know how. I just got to got to keep working in the right direction. Sometimes sometimes it feels like you're working and, and things aren't happening. And then sometimes you feel like you're gaining power every day. So it just, just depends. Um, all right, guys. So we got 430, way downhill, way downhill. All right, let's hit driver down the pipe. Let's do it. Shit. Oh my god, it's so downhill. I just never thought it was gonna be that downhill. That thing flew like 330. Yeah, that, that ball went 340 yards. So I just I'm just not used to hitting something down 40 yards. So I just I didn't even know how far to hit it. Alright, so it says 98. I'm on a huge side hill wise, so I'm gonna aim it right at the target. I'm just going to hit a little knockdown 7 iron here. Nothing too crazy. Alright, let's do this. A little 10 o'clock 10 o'clock 7 iron. Stay left. All right, just a touch right. Let me get some air in here. It's kind of getting muggy. Yeah. Oh, much needed. All right, here we go. Let's do it, guys. You got 15 yards. All right, let's chip this up close. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Oh my god. Sit, 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 sit. All right, guys, we're good. We're good on the first one. So, like I said, this is on the harder end of the spectrum as far as golf courses go. Um, I think they rate this one a four out of five. We are going to, you know, so this season is going to be 20 episodes, and I am going to play a couple five out of fives. Um, I don't think I've played one yet, but I've played a lot of three out of fives. Um, all right, so 
I got water left here, guys. And so maybe just kind of a nice driver up the right center is sort of what's in order here. Let's do it. Right in the water. Shit, man. Yeah, I felt it. As soon as I hit it, I felt it. Damn it. Okay. So that sucks. Um, so I've got 100 and, what, 153 yards. Where's my 8 iron? Okay. I just felt it. I stepped up, needed to hit a good drive, and just pulled it. Um, nothing else can be said about it. Let's not get close. And then I blocked the shit out of it. Oh dear lord. Alright guys. We might be grinding today. This is not a very advantageous start here. We got 60 feet. Get in the hole, please. Be a par. Oh my god. Alright. This is not so bad. Alright, so we got 555, guys. Let's do a driver down the pipe. in the fairway. So once again, these are very tight fairways. This is a tough golf course. Um, I'm one over. Not my best start, but let's see if we can kind of improve here. So I had a nice 290 yard drive. So I've got 265 left. 265, but it's way uphill. So this is actually all of a three wood to me. So let's do it. shot but it got there just left all right I have a good opportunity I have a good opportunity here to try to get the shot back that I lost we'll see if I can capitalize on it all right so I got 60 yards let's do it as soon as I hit it. Sorry, not 60 yards, 60 feet. Nine feet. All right, we made the birdie, guys. All right, so I got 216 yards. Wow. So this is basically playing 200 yards. So this is like a five iron, essentially. We should have a little knockdown four, honestly. I just don't want to get it too high in the air. Let's do it. Is that a touch out to the right? Come on back. Hold there. Hold there. 
that's a good golf shot. I'm super happy with that. You know, 216 yards. I'm good. I'm good with that. All right, guys, we got to throw the grid up here. All right, so I got 17 feet, slightly on the right edge. Get in the hole. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, so here we go guys. We've got 398 yards. So I've got to basically just hit hit a driver right down the pipe. See what I can do here. Got this little T here. See if this is about right for me. Seems like when I tee it up high, the launch angle gets a bit high. Hold, hold, shit, get past it. Oh no. All right, so, God. All right, so I got 125, which is good, but I have to keep it under this tree, which is going to be difficult, especially because it's uphill. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go with a 7-iron here. Just hopefully this works out. We're going to see what happens. Okay. Ah, oh. this is not awesome. All right, so I got 34 yards. Let's see what I can do. Oh, go. That's so far short. So whenever you're hitting one of these flop shots, it's actually really difficult. You gotta just make sure it doesn't like roll up your club face, which that did. All right, so we got 44 feet way out to the right. Let's see what I got. Go, go, go. A little short. All right, guys, that's another bogey. Not my finest, guys. Not my finest. All right, so do we got another par five here? All right, so we do have another par five. Who knows? Maybe we can make a nice birdie here. And God, it's down 28 yards. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. I got my driver out. We're going to try to get a nice, aggressive driver right down the fairway. Looks pretty good. Carried it. Oh, that was money. All right, guys. We need more of that. That's what we need. All right, 211 yards, very doable. Nine yards down, so this is playing like 201. It's not, there's almost no wind. So here's actually a tough shot for me because it's either a knockdown four or it's like a hard, or it's like a hard five iron. So I'm gonna do a little knockdown four and see what I can do.
just so scared of uh, blocking it. Fuck. Yeah, I was so afraid of blocking it that I ended up pulling it a little bit. All right, so I got 20, 20, 60 feet, essentially. Sit, 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 sit. All right, guys, I got my other birdie. This is a grind today. I think I'm even par. I mean, I'm trying, but this is a grind for sure. All right, so I got 178. It's a good golf shot, just a tiny block. All right, so I got right to left. Let's see, 26 feet. Let's do it. Good shot. I'm just going right down the right center of the fairway. Should have a good opportunity to, to angle in at this pin. Whew. Speed is just getting worse and worse as I play better and better. <laughs> All right, so we got 185, or I'm sorry, 155. Let's do this. Bad, 20 feet. All right, definitely right to left, definitely uphill. So this has got to be like a 42 footer. Let's do it. Go, go, go. Nah, left it short. Super uphill. guys. Drive right down the pipe. Let's do it. Oh, very solid. Okay, nice. Should be a good opportunity. I would love to stick one and actually get into red numbers here. So let's see what I can do. I got 157 uphill, not crazy uphill. Okay. So I'm actually going to hit a slight knockdown seven iron here. It's just hard. It's actually very in between clubs for me. 
So we're going to hit a little smooth 10 o'clock 7 right here. Out to the right again. Hold, hold, sit, 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 sit. So not the worst, but I keep blocking it just a little bit. These are these are micro blocks, 25 feet, 30 feet. It's not the worst thing ever, but it's frustrating, I can tell you that. Okay, so I got 31 feet, let's do it. Sit, 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 ball. My goodness. See, sometimes it just jumps. God! Right when I was hoping to, to make a birdie, then it kind of jolts forward on me. All right, so we got downhill, let's see, 10 feet, just on the left edge. God, I would love to make this. Nope. All right, that's a three putt. Oh my god, guys, this is kind of a grind today. Maybe it's just I took two days off, so I'm feeling soft after my, after my long two-day break. Hopefully I can make some birdies and get something happening here towards the end. Where did the other, where did the other tee go? I have two of these things. I have no idea. All right. So... I'm going to aim this just a touch more to the right because I'm going to run out of room here. Still got this like T that's super low. a very tight golf course. Stay there, stay there. Okay, I think I actually got away with it. Should have a little opening. Oh yeah, I found the other tee. I know you guys are worried about that. Um, all right, so we got 102, definitely off the side slope. You know, the rough is really not bad here, so I definitely got to aim this and touch to the left because it's going to jolt out to the right. But I think distance-wise, it's going to play about the same. So. We're gonna actually hit just a nice little 105 shot here. And it should be fun. All right, come on. No more. All right, 10 o'clock. the number. Come on! Alright, it's like I keep making a bogey, but then I kind of stick a birdie on the next hole. So, I'm happy about that. I would love to just stop making the bogeys, and then the birdies will be great. Alright, we got a par 5 here, guys. It's a good opportunity to actually get into the red for the first time today. Stay short. Stay short. All right. Just short of the bunker. So I've got 230 yards. Here's my situation again. All right, so 230 is tough because it's like a full three iron. So where's my three iron? I think I can get it there. This is definitely going to be all of a three iron, though. So let's fucking do this. Let's hit this. Let's hit this hard. Let me get my golf balls. Situated. It's off camera. Get these ones before I kind of get going with this shot. All 
All right, round stick. It's way left. Guys, that's going to be like worst shot of the day. I don't know what's up, but I'm just a little off today. Um, I don't know why, and hopefully I can get through this round okay. Let's see here. We got 55 yards. All right, let's see if I can knock him close. Go, 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 go. All right, par. Let's get out of here. Made my par. We're moving on. Come on, guys. It's time to make a birdie here. It's time to get under par. It has been long enough. If we get on a good tear here, we can maybe, maybe have to kind of salvage a good round. All right, so I've got a little downhill. Where's my nine iron? There's my nine iron. Okay. So here we go, guys. I'm going to go for a nice little knockdown nine iron. back here. Ten o'clock right now. Come on, be the number. Ooh, that might be good. Oh yeah, all right, we're under par, baby. This has not been the best round of all time, but if we start making some birdies here, you just never know. All right, so I got 197, downhill again. Let's do it, guys. This is gonna be a little knockdown five right now. Let's see if we can just knock this right on the stick. That was a good golf shot. Sit, sit, sit. All right. All right, guys. All right, we're to two. All right, so I got 407. It's just a driver down the pipe. Nothing too crazy going on here. Let's do it. Carry it all. Carry it all. Oh, shit. So just barely right of my target. 
So in in a bunker, I I've gone. All right, so let's see let's see what kind of di distance we're getting here. So I got to hit this about 20 yards further. So I got this needs to be more like a buck 40 shot. So that's fine. We got a little 10 o'clock nine iron here. Let's see if we can knock it close. block. Come on, turn back. Turn back. It's trying. It's trying. Sit, 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 sit. Maybe. Yes. All right, guys. Come on. Let's do it. A late charge. All right, we got 370 yards. So I can carry this bunker. There's a bunker over here. So I've got to carry the bunker. All right, guys. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna tell you what this club head speed is. We're gonna try to swing kind of hard and see where my club head lands. It's been like 113, so I don't know if I can swing much faster right now. I don't know why. Let's see where that club head speed is. So that's not me swinging out of control or anything, but that's a good, solid, aggressive strike for me. And I'm rolling down the hill. All right. Let's see what I'm doing right now. See, yeah, it's 113 miles per hour. It's 112.9. Oh my goodness. Guys, I'm going to figure something out with my club head speed because it's not bad. Don't get me wrong. I hit that 300 and something yards, but I just feel like I got more in the tank. Um, all right, so we got 67 yards, basically flat. Okay, for me, guys, it should be just about right. So we're going to go with a 9 o'clock 64. Spin. I think that's good. All right, guys. All right, let's do this. This is a nice late tear. I'm very happy with this. All right, so we got a 420 yard hole. Nothing too crazy. All right, drive her down the pipe. Let's do it. Is that a touch out to the right? It is a touch out of the right. Come on, get through it. Get through it all. Go, 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 go. All right, so as long as I can get over those pine trees, I should be okay. Goodness. All right, so I got 141 up and over the pine trees. All right, so we're gonna do this. Where's my name? There it is. So this essentially, the rough here is like nothing. Like literally it says 99% power. So the rough is not like the worst rough I've seen, um, which is kind of a benefit. It's a very tight golf course. And there is a lot of trees and stuff. All right, guys, we're going to do this. We got 141, 10 o'clock, 9 iron. I would love to stick it. Touch left. Not a bad shot, just a touch left. So here we go, guys. Pretty straight. 29 feet. Let's do it. Let's 
Oof. All right, not bad. All right, guys. Let's see what else we got going on here. Oh, 224. So we got a part three here. It's down 12 yards. So this is essentially like 215. So this is going to be just a nice little form here, like a 10 o'clock form. tough shot you know it's a tough part three so oh well 52 feet honestly I would be super happy with the two putt all right so we got 45 46 feet 46 feet let's do it Go, 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 go. I just keep leaving everything just a little bit short. Oh my god, barely. Barely inside the gimme zone, guys. Barely. All right, we got a part five on the last hole. Nothing too serious. All right, let's do it, guys. Drive her down the pipe. You know what? I almost need this down to the left, even just a little bit more. Yep. All right, guys, last one. Drive down the pipe, let's do it. I want a slightly higher tee. I need a little bit more loft on this bad boy, so let's do it. solid all right so go down the hill uh, I think quite go down the hill all right so I definitely can get after this green and two try to make it to five under honestly for such a that front nine was not good but luckily I've kind of had a nice comeback here all right so guys I'm gonna do this four iron shot that I've hit I feel like I've hit it three times today it's a nice little 10 o'clock four iron let's see what I can do That was such a bailout. God, going into par fives today has been the worst swings. I mean, I've made some nice birdies because I kind of, I do like a cop out swing and then I chip it close. So let's see if I'm gonna fall in like the footsteps of my kind of scrappy par five play. All right, so I got essentially 50, you know, 18, 36, 46, 54 feet. All right. All right, well, I made a birdie. It worked out okay. This was quite scrappy. Look at that back nine. I shot five under on the back nine. Or I shot six under on the back nine, one over on the front. Um, so definitely a horrible front nine and definitely a good back nine. Uh, all in all, it was quite fun. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Jake, it was awesome, awesome hanging out. Um, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm not actually going to be back tomorrow. I'll be back on Thursday at 12 o'clock. So I'll see you guys then. All right, thank you. That's funky. Look at that back, man. Oh, my goodness.